said, how did you get this color water? I said, well, that is what I learned from my friend. That's why I told you, I am a scientist. I'm going to show you many things today, Professor Monster. He said, okay, I'm going to sit down, you are going to show me, and if you can show me something super amazing, I will let you go home. Anyway, you see this ice inside here, what is happening is, as you can see, when you hold it, you are going to see that this ice does not bring out water, right? Water is not coming out of it. It is not like the ice that we eat at home. Actually, this ice is called carbonic ice. Can you say that? Carbonic ice. Do you know why it is called carbonic ice? Carbonic. Because this ice is not made of water. It is made of yes. gas. And the name of that gas is carbon dioxide. So this is carbon dioxide gas. This is one reason why we shouldn't inhale it too much into our lungs because we don't need carbon dioxide in our lungs, right? What do we need in our lungs? Oxygen. Very good. Very good. Oxygen. So, but we can still play with it to some point because most of the time also we eat or we drink carbon dioxide, right? But not in large quantity. So, as I said, this ice does not melt, okay? Because it is not made of water. It is made of carbon dioxide. Gas. gas. Very good. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, because the gas doesn't melt, okay? So as this ice is a compressed form of carbon dioxide gas, it does not melt. Instead, it, it will turn into gas turns into gas and when something changes from solid to gas direct without going through the liquid form it is called sublimation can you say that sublimation sublimation, sublimation. so this ice does not melt but it sublimates as you can see you see if you touch it you are not going to feel any water because what is coming out of it is not water. It is gas. But as you see, the rate of sublimation okay, is very high if you use hot water. Because hot water is a very high temperature. If you use cold water, the rate of sublimation is lower. Let us try. Okay, we are going to experiment between cold water and hot water. Let's try. Oh. Oh. Okay, let us try with here with these two two parts. Okay, so we are going to use normal temperature water or room temperature water and hot. Okay, let's see the difference. Can you pour? Is this hot? No, this is cold. This is normal temperature. So you are going to tell me which one sublimate faster. Let us see. Pour this one in one. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. Now, pour this one here. Be quick. We need to see the difference. Uh, now, what is the difference? This one comes out faster. This one comes out Very good. Now you can see, because this one is normal room temperature water. I think this is smoother. Okay, and because this ice is super duper 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 cold. Extremely cold. This is about negative 197 degrees. Almost 200, negative 200. So it is extremely cold. So when you use something that is extremely hot to touch it, it what sublimate at a very high speed. Now let's take for instance this one. Okay, I want you to try this. You are going to see something now also. Pour this one. 
Now rub it on your hand here. Rub this side here like this. Come on, rub it very well. Use, let's use friction. Rub it, rub it, rub it. Keep it going so that it becomes so warm. Okay. Now place it on this one. Hold this one here. Now hold it and place it. Okay, maybe because it is already cold and it has been in this. Well, let's look for another, another object. 